hi and welcome to another episode of Thaumaturge. I'm not sure how far we are from the end, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite chuffed that we got two new salutas yesterday. This is one of them. Obviously the golem is not showing up because we haven't gone to Westputin. Hey Lunas, hey Lewis, thank you for... Um, Popping in. So let's continue. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty close to the end. But honestly, I, d I do not know. I do not know. read her, diary, her torn letter. Dear Miss Zulska, I'm a practical man and I'm not driven by sentiments. I'm driven by profit. Our combined assets, united by marriage, would bring plentiful benefits to both of us. Your money will help build my cold meat empire and you'll be able to end that work nonsense. Oh. What a douche canoe. Really, he just wants her money so he can be successful. But if he wasn't in, in such an ass, he would probably be successful. Turd. Mr. Shulsky, there's a young lady to see you. I'll serve tea in the drawing room. I won't stay long. There's no need. Thank you, Grazinka. A nice house, a spot of tea, a housekeeper. When the revolution comes, everything here will go up in smoke. Okay. Did he say anything? You know what? He confirmed my belief that thaumaturges are freaks. Forking joke, man. <laughs> sure. Thank you, Vamba. I'm glad I could help. I've got an appointment with Michal. Need to learn about Michal. I do need more proud. So. Give my best to your fiance. He hasn't proposed yet. Will the young lady be visiting us more often? Uh, no. Uh, she has a It's not face. like that. Don't let your imagination run away with you, Grazinka. Oh, right. <laughs> She's not like that. It's not like it. Uh, let's just check the house. Nothing new. I do like this house. It's very nice and open. I do feel like this is, uh, I'd probably have my, uh, the lounge, not a dining room. I'd have the dining room here by the kitchen. Like a, a smaller dining area here. But I do like this chaise lounge out there. This is perfect. Like a reading nook in front of the fire. I'd have a swivel chair, so put a TV on that side. Anyway, so let's uh, <laughs> go. Uh, what other? Actually, you know what we could do is we could go to, yeah, Rasputin. That is what we need to do. What is that? What? 
But it's nice to move pawns around the board at your whim. Sketch a list. Sketch all local landmarks. Go for it. Just put an achievement. I don't know the reason for concern on Mr. Lord Deck's face. Sorry for checking that. He, as he was watching me closely throughout the game. Okay. I got all the landmarks in this area. Which is Let's go find a horse and a carriage. Which is this on either wall. They're both Go and speak to Rasputin real quick. Because then we can unlock our, our golem. Let's see. I think I've got all the... There's only one point of interest. And I've already got that. So glad this stupid snooty um, housekeeper is left. Okay. Yes. Do you have a moment? For you, always. Um, to I need time. your help. Again. And I won't turn you down again. We got a good one. This is your inevitable, cruel end. It's approaching. You won't escape it, nor hide from it. I don't want to die. It's not up to you. Sometimes you have to accept the blow. Bad note. Now, give him the command. From now on, you will obey me. Krampus is the last one I've picked up. There's quite a few that I that I could get. I mean, you you have a, a variety. Obviously, you can only have two. So now for deed, I can't get that one, which I would have liked to have because that's that's a pretty one. Lilic. Morana is the one that we get from the artist. I haven't seen that one yet. Velez is the one we have. Krampus. So we can't get the, the naked lady one. Which is also a nice one I would have liked. Hey, Cayman. Oh, sorry, Dallas. <laughs> My apologies. Sorry, Dallas. How are you doing? It's Putin. We got a few people here.
Okay, so now that's done. Build with holiness. Look around the Orthodox Church in Prague. Yeah, let's go do that real quick. I want to get all the um, stuff done. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. See, now we've got this done. So it looks like we have to get that one and, and that one. And we have got no points. So we have to go do some quests to get some more points. Get more points. Touch more steps. Just got up and drink your coffee. Yes. I hope it's a good cup. My coffee just finished. Should have gonna made another cup before I started the stream. It happens. Where am I going? Okay. Ooh. Yeah, sorry. That's the church. It's beautiful. I want to see. There should be a couple of places of interest here. Point of interest. Is this? Yeah, this is the hospital. I wonder if I've done this one. Let's go do it again. Here's the church. It's pretty. Really pretty. I have done it. Um, gotta go look around the church. Okay, so there must be some secrets around here. There's one. Sit down. I don't want to sit down. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you here before, young man. You look exhausted. What brings you here? Trying to find your way at which you like churches. Got this subject if you're not religious. Uh, well, I do like churches. They're beautiful. I like religious buildings. There's something healing about them. Why do you think that is? Mm, the smell of the incense says about silence, aesthetic. The remarkable aesthetics, the splendor. I respect artists and their works. I like to spend time surrounded by art. All to the glory of God, people use their talent to praise him. I sense you have doubts, questions, so ask. Not really. Um, what is the only question I can ask? Untalented. That's a fairly difficult subject. There is hope for all. Even for those who live in great sin. So, in your opinion, Father, being a Thaumaturge is a sin? It's not up to me to say what's a sin and what isn't. But there's hope for everyone. That's literally man. your freaking job. How can you say I'll be off. I'm sure you have more urgent matters to attend to, Father. I'll be here if you want to talk. And remember, darkness does not exist without light. If your demons are real, then so is God who cursed them. Right. <laughs> that was hilarious. This, the pages of the prayer book are read from often or... Although the words written on them have already engraved themselves in memory. Same prayers are used for the various cases of alleged possession. Wait, wait. Candelabrum. The candles aren't burning. The candelabrum must be a real ritualistic, lit only on special occasions. Incense. It continues to emit smoke. The suffocating odor is difficult to bear. Words repeated continuously like a mantra 
regularly, often, and with great excitement. Still hover over the incense smoke, attempts to chase away Satan, cries to heaven, beseeching divine intervention for souls possessed by various evil spirits. Okay, that's one conclusion. The lectern. The lectern used in orthodox rites and for taking confessions. Echoes of a whisper remained atop the lectern. The confessions that Kirill had heard. A confession or a silent cry for help. A desperate plea for hope. An icon with a countenance of Tsar Nikolai II. He looked at the icon for a long time. Straight into the Tsar's eyes, as if interrogating him, perhaps looking for inspiration. Stepped away from it, with a plan formed in his head, though the icon hadn't answered. A wooden chair, nothing about it stands out. What was pounding in trepidation as he, she sat in the chair? Words of the prayer brought no solace, nor did Christ looking calmly down at her from the icon. The fear for the entity closest to her in life overshadowed everything else. Oh, Serena Alexandra. The last hope. The Tsarina visits the Orthodox Church, most likely incognito, seeing as no one is talking about it. Her confessor is Kirill, from who she seeks help of for her troubled heart. Her thoughts are full of fear. Well, rightfully so. She's gonna lose her head. I think that was everything. I think we might be able to ask him some more questions. Now. Are there any other reflections? Oh, Previate, Tom. No, spasiba. Ask about exorcism. So, yeah, see, now we can ask everything. Let's uh, raise the subjects. Do you know Grigori Rasputin, father? He also visited this place not long ago. Rasputin. I haven't seen him here, but yes, I know him. And I remember him well. It's impossible to forget someone like that. Yeah, How do you know one <laughs> From back in Petersburg, he was looking for protection, posing as a great preacher. But I was suspicious of him. He was nothing more than an ordinary charlatan. Just talking about that man sullies the palate with sin. Why do you ask about him? No reason. Friend from Petersburg. During a conversation, Carol revealed that he'd met Rasputin in Petersburg. Doesn't think very highly of him. In fact, he demonstrates hostility towards the man. Rasputin tried to integrate ingratiate himself with the local clergy, but he didn't succeed. Okay, so that's You Serena. get some peculiar guests here, Father. There is room in God's house for everyone. It's no secret that Sarina Alexandra is particularly God-fearing. Do you know her well? As well as a confessor can. So, quite well. If you're looking for gossip about Her Imperial Majesty, you've come to the wrong place. There are plenty of people at Rushitsky Bazaar eager for such chit-chat. I feel as though this is not an accidental meeting. I'll be off. I'm sure you have more urgent matters to attend to. No, I have more questions. I'll be here if you want to talk. And remember, darkness does not exist without light. If your demons are real, then so is God. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I still had a question. Why didn't it allow me to ask that other question? Or did he answer it without me asking? Okay. Any. I don't know how I'm going to make more points. I mean, that just gave me a little bit of XP. So rude. To someone else. Um, hmm. Find a way to make Layla's floor visible. So, Layla and Phaeton are the two um, other salators 
<sighs> that I have to go and catch. Um, let's go meet with the doctor. No secrets. Nope. Assalamu alaikum. Is such a horrible answer, but I do need to answer. Um, Praise sure. be unto our Lord Jesus Christ. Contrary, like your father. I'm not used to getting such a welcome from others. Usually, they go charging straight into my head. That's not very polite in my view. One ought to introduce oneself first. Emir Bernokovich. Fulge. Are you alone? And never alone. See, because my pride is so low, I can't see that question. Now you are. I've taken care of them. Good. Thank you for the onion. Thank you for the fork. It's impossible to ignore an invitation magically inscribed on an onion. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, I want to know what Falje means. What is a Falje? That's what we Tatars call thaumaturges. Mm -hmm. I'm a healer, a fortune teller, and a doctor. Is something ailing you? No. Nope. I'm looking for the Black Grimoire. After my father died, it went missing. What do you need another spell book for? Please to explain yourself, it's rightfully yours. Ask him what it is to him. Well, what good is it to you? Stanislav mentioned that sometimes you let your pride get the better of you. Get to the point. As you wish. Enough beating around the bush. Is this gonna be a fight? Apparently. Oh, there he is. This is the other one that we might get. In this place, Only we can talk there. openly and take all the time we need. But mind that lying may cost you dearly. Who told you I have the Black Grimoire? Um, Do I want to throw a Konechkin under the walls? I don't really want to. I do have mind three. Hmm, this is difficult. Do I really want to give him the information? Hmm. Let's go with the truth. The person who drew you to my attention was Ivan Konechkin. As I thought. The chief had been circling Stanislav for a long time and was interested in his associates. In us. The Grimoire. My patience is running short. Suffer is dead. You're the only one left. I want to straight him. Ask him one last time for the Grimoire. Give the Grimoire back. This is the last time I'm asking. 
Stanislav used to tell me you were really sick and nearly lost your mind. How did you manage to get through all that? Um... Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin cured me. How? As far as I can tell, he used hypnosis on me, and he still peeks into my head from time to time. Do you trust him? Mm, I have no reason not to. He hasn't betrayed my trust so far. Is Rasputin a thaumaturge? Mm, no. I don't think so. I'd have noticed that. Do you know any other thaumaturges from Warsaw? All these questions. Yeah, I do. Yes, I know two more. That's enough. I don't have the Black Grimoire, and I've never had it. Stalling from time. Um. Let's not say anything. You've got enormous potential, but you're not yet reaching it. Is speaking the truth not in such demand anymore? I'm not looking for an honest thaumaturge, just a powerful one. Uh. So he's actually looking for some of the images of all your salutators. Let's keep listening. I want to rebuild the coterie with your participation. Okay. Why do you want to resurrect it? I'll tell you why you want this. Because it offers real influence without the need to come out of the shadows. Very practical. I trust that now you're intrigued. I've got my own. Do you modify was It's very noisy. It sounds tempting. I'll think it over. That's enough for me, for the time being. But take my advice. When you leave here, go to the one who healed you. I sense he has many secrets. We all do, don't we? Yes, but his secrets might be dangerous, and might thwart your plans. Be careful. Interesting. Very interesting. Why are we going through the cemetery? Okay, what's he doing here? Huh. What are you doing here? 
Vanitas, Vanitatum, et Omnia, Vanitas. Your father was a great man. Where did that thought come from? I can see clearly what a great influence he had on your life, Victor. We both know how much you wanted to be his equal. That's possible. Maybe I didn't want to admit it, even to myself. Maybe you know me better than I know myself. It's as if you've been inside my head. You didn't answer my question. What are you doing here? We're on the boundary of two worlds. Amid human ashes, this is a wonderful place to contemplate the future. Your father considered himself Polish. Your mother was Russian. And you grew up in France. Who are you, Victor? And what about you? Who are you, Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? Me? Above all, I am an acolyte of Christ himself, whose path I know and wish to follow. I'm not as lost as you. And what about the rest of the flock? The people around you? You've gathered them, us, intentionally. Everyone has a goal. We're only yet another stopover on someone's journey. And sometimes our paths lead in the same direction. Mine leads to the court of Nikolai Romanov. I need to save that Tsarevich, because I believe that only then can we have a future. I can help him. Do you believe me? Mm, I'd like to be. Maybe. I know that you're helping me, and I have a debt towards you, but I also have my doubts. How can I dispel them? Must. Mention others who have doubts. Ask about his visit to the Orthodox Church. Find out how much his body seems like it. Remind him he knows things you haven't told him. Um, so let's mention the. Why are you visiting the Church of Saint Mary Magdalene? I pray there. But Lazarev showed it to me. He believes in my mission and revealed that the Tsarina sometimes goes there. Does that have anything to do with Kiryu? Where do you know him from? Mm -hmm. I've also been to the church to pray. No, he doesn't matter here. What worried you? I can see what you're doing. You want to create a cult. Therefore, your eyes deceive you. People flock to me on their own, and I simply do not push them away. We all share the same goal. Anything else? There are people who don't have entirely flattering opinions about you. They say you might be dangerous. What people? Do you know them? Hey, Brent. Hey, Everyone hey. has opinions about you or about other thaumaturgists, Jews, women, American Indians, or about Christ himself. What have you heard about me that's starting to frighten you? Have you heard about my wife? Maybe that I abandoned her for orgies and feasts? Or maybe you should just go ahead and ask me directly. Have you heard about my want in life? I don't judge anyone by who they sleep with, or how often. What else have you heard? And from whom? From the Petersburg Ochrana and its agents? From newspapers written under the strictures of Tsar's censorship? What else? It feels like you know things I haven't told you. I can't be sure what you're telling me consciously, and which ones only during our sessions. It's hard to trust someone who goes into your head without you knowing what he does in there. That didn't bother you before. You invited me in yourself, remember? You yourself opened your mind to me. I told you I hadn't investigated my power myself. 
It's a gift. I usually help those who believe. Do you believe now? Sure. That's all. See, I think I've dispelled all your doubts. Think what we can achieve, Victor, if you just come with me. Think about how the Tsar will look upon all thaumaturges then, if one of them saves his heir. Do you see now? It all sounds lovely. But how would we achieve this ambitious goal? Together, Victor. Together. And all in good time. You'll just have to believe we can do it. Do you believe? Not sure if I want to join him. There's no turning back. Ah. Point of no return. I don't want to. Damn it. <laughs> no, 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 no. It doesn't give me an option not Let's to. Let's not waste time. Let's go pray. Ideally at the Orthodox Church of St. Mary Magdalene. Ready? Um, we'll meet later. later. You know where to look for me. Don't keep me waiting long. A chance like this does not come along very often. Um, okay. I don't want to go to to the end just yet. Well, the only th two things that we can go do is uh, see if we can find, figure out how to win these two fights. So let's see if we can go get some more um, Leila. I think let's do Leila's first. I will save before then. Well, I'll save it right here. So if we do fail, just come back right here and go see if we can do Kayetons. Maybe grab this floor first. Who knows? We do need some more points. How the hell do we get more points? I mean, there's there's nothing else to find. I've been to all these points of interest. And I've done all the side quests, so I'm, I'm not sure... How to get more points to unlock all this stuff. Excuse me. And again, I find myself under the gaze of those inquisitive eyes. Mm -hmm. A lot happens here. 
It seems like an ordinary brothel, but it's managed rather creatively. Instead of putting your hands on things, maybe start putting them on beautiful ladies. Or gentlemen. The choice is yours. I don't know if touching anyone would tell me that Layla has been skimming from your safe. Layla! I'm busy. Busy getting into my safe? Says who? The gold watch you lifted from the Dvor whispered to me that you are equally cautious when lifting banknotes from the safe. Not too much, either, so that no one catches on. You talk to watches? Maybe you're a snake charmer, too. Yes. Anything else, charmer? I know the combination. I know that you keep repeating it in your head when you're bored. Did you hear me? Mind your thoughts around this one, or he'll expose you for the deviant you are. Layla, pockets. Come on. Is 1891 an important date? Pockets. Mm, no. And if you so much as touch me, I'll go to your Ohrana buddies and tell them that you're stealing from your clients, including their people. You little ingrate! Come to me. Her audacity certainly helped Layla and her brother tackle their fate. But it also led you down the path of transgression. Without it, you will cease to be the Jin's puppet. Okay, let's see if we can grab the Jin. I need to use. 
It is a load. Lost way too much health. It's bloody knife fights. I hate the knife fights. He hurts me quite a lot. It's like my health is just not high enough for it. I don't know. Maybe I'm killing the wrong person first. There's a damn knife attack. It just does so much damage. Is 
see it when he attacks me and just that's what to do against the Jin's attack. He's just freaking nailing me like six low. It's just insane. the freaking first one how much of that's gonna be because we are way too low on health Oh. 
One's tough. It's you. I see you're not interested. No, I'm not interested in this one. Where are you hiding, my dear? I think it's time for him.
Not good at all. Okay, well, we we were actually better on this part than the other one. If I change some things up, I actually might freaking win this one. We definitely need to kill this guy.
Starting to lay with my health on the second round. Wait. sucks because they kind of get two rounds. It's not like the fight is the same every single time you try. Every single time you try, they attack you differently. So it's really not easy.
it's already too late. Already too late. It's really difficult to plan or to try and get the fight right when it's so unpredictable. The Taylor's Dilemma I can't do because I don't have enough mind points. So. Yeah. There's one more thing that I need to get. And my mind points are not enough. So let's go uh, with the story, I suppose. Because I mean, this is uh, the only three side quests left. And um, that's basically the end of the story, then. If we're going to go with Rasputin. Rasputin. Would have li liked to have gotten those other two floors, but I'm getting frustrated. those two points. I just find them a little bit too difficult. Like you've got so many people with knives and those knives attack knife attacks are just insane. And I feel like they, they attack you twice Can where we you go? the church is one, one attack. Sure. Emphasize if you have questions. Not yet. I came about something else. Did I? Yes. What do you need? I wanted to ask what's next. Church, Victor. Let's go pray. This place looked different. The Nadarinsk is the two. Everything is happening according to their will and with their blessing. All these people, you've gathered a colorful group. We all come already. from different environments, from different rungs on the ladder. And that's the most beautiful thing about this. What have you found out about them? Yeah, we have. Enough about these people. I'm at your service, Victor. Ask for what you want. I'll leave you alone. I've got business to get back to. Church, Victor. Okay. Victor is... But, but I am ready. Can we go? Yeah. The church is waiting. Fine, let's go. Finally. It's very deceiving to say leave. Because normally when you say leave, you leave the conversation. I should say go with Rasputin, not leave. Victor, it's about to start. Okay. Strange. I don't remember the way here. Not at all. Should I be nervous, friend? Right is too low. This terrifies me. 
quiet there. You're not in a barn. The Patriarch Kiru will soon begin an exorcism on a certain boy. I know that you and Kiru have a past. Why are we here, of all places? Not in the least. Remember, revenge is foreign to me, Victor. It's not about Kirill. Though, if by chance he trips up today, that would make me immeasurably happy. Unlike Kirill, I really do want to heal a boy who is suffering. The people must understand that I am the truth. And what then? Then, all that's needed is for what happens here to reach the right ears. Off to the market with you! Don't bother folks here! Shut up. Now I would like you to look around and determine how to prepare the miracle of healing. Go now. I'll go take a look around. Go, but don't waste time. Okay, let's go find Simon's exorcism. A religious woman decided to subject her son to an exorcism. She claims that the child lies, is disobedient and cries all day. Like a normal child? Really? Exorcism is not going to I felt something. Where is it? Oh, Diddy Bear with a missing foot. Diddy Bear, charmingly named, but filthily, is loved by some. But as it is common with love, there are bad times as well. Times of undefined anger, sorrow, and incomprehension. The Diddy Bear lost the ball, its paw in a gesture. Book with a wrap. Pages read, read for the first time in the hope of finding some peace of mind. Not easy to collect with things. Find time for a son. Climic demands so much work. Just to keep an eye on him at all times and doesn't have a moment to think or reflect. Holy icon. Small charred icon. The holy picture was supposed to bring divine help and cure. Yet it provoked anger and became the bone of contention that caused a combined rift, a definite rift between mother and child. Ultimately, Symek snapped and destroyed the picture, which only stoked his mother's suspicion of demonic interplay. Matyushka, can we please start? Patience, daughter, and humility. Keep praying. You're back after all. You'll soon see the power of God. Hey, you. Destroyed a holy image. Do you want to go to hell? No, I got scared, Mama. <laughs> Why did you harm Cartafel? He said it really hurts now. I didn't mean to. I didn't. I was angry. Papa didn't come back from the war. Sorry, let me, let me just draw this in there. Something keeps the elude. So I didn't find something. Something that didn't.
What if I don't see it? You know, just pick up everything that's in here. Let's speak to the mother. Matryoshka, can we please... Hey. Um, is he your son? Why did you bring him here? What business is it of yours? The devil needs to give my son back. He's got me scared to sleep under my own roof. Why? He won't shut up about phantoms, and he lies and makes stuff up. And he holds and holds. But Yushka, faster, have mercy. Hey, you. Say that apparently is I've heard you're a liar. No, I don't lie. That's not true. And that you scare your mama making things up. Not true. I want to go home. Get the flow. Don't get close to him. It's the devil speaking through him. He'll tell you anything to save himself. Mm hmm boy has a flaw, but that explains a lot, but doesn't answer the question. What's the next? Devil's desires. There's no vile devil inside Zamek, just an ordinary flaw that influences his disposition. Lasturbating feelings of incomprehension and loneliness. Exorcisms may only cause him more harm. If I could remove the flaw, the boy would certainly calm down. And Rasputin could take advantage. We should go. Oh. Let's go talk to Rasputin. We're running out of time, Victor. What have you got for me? I've learned the boy carries a flaw. Perfect. And what's next? Maybe it's what's making him upset. If I took it away... But Kiro told me to move away before it opened completely. Don't dwell on it. It's good news. Let's get closer to God. Especially since it's a little too loud here. Thanks be to God. They're going somewhere else to talk. Princeps Miliete Kelias des Defende Nos in Praelio. Down with the evil spirit. I drive you out in the name of Christ. Priest! Leave that child alone! You stand in defense of Satan. He's not a child, he's a devil. Mama! You're causing a child unnecessary suffering. He needs a different kind of help. True help. My help. Quiet, don't scream. I'm not going to do anything to you. Mama! Mama! Help! Thought for introducers. Give up and remove his phone. Oh, let's just get to it. He's gonna carry it screaming. It won't hurt. Why the floor? It's all right now. Everything will be all right. Find peace inside yourself. Peace, yes. It's all right now. Be blessed, Shimon. Be healed. It's better now, isn't it? It's a miracle. Thank you. With all my heart. Shimon shares his name with the name of the greatest of Christ's apostles. And you wanted to drive Satan out of him. 
That's blasphemy. So say I, Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin. The man you betrayed, Judas. We have made the words of God into an instrument for our own gain. Made sacred temples into a vanity fair. Satan exists. And he is here today among us. But not in this small, defenseless boy I have just cured. This evil runs rampant through our homeland, driving our great nation toward a precipice. It's time to stand against this. Let us be strong in spirit. That is the only way we can defeat Satan. Down with traitors! Hey, you! Yeah. The devil with the book! You damned magician! I'm talking to you! Officer, I was just passing by. Victor! Do you need help? Uh, yeah. I won't say no. Looks like it'd be useful. What was that you said, officer? We're fighting. We're fighting. And I thought I was done. I can see you're in over your head, officer. Because these are wizard scum. It's not a fair fight with them. Enough. You and you. Get them. But 
Save your powers for later. They'll come in handy. Let's go. Michal, leave him alone, bastard! Geroy, you're coming with us too. Although, they could have left me a coat. It's chilly here. They're going to kill us. We'll get out of this. I wonder how. Um, I do need to feed it. I thought that you of all people would be the toughest one in the cell. Control yourself. Talk more quietly. In like the citadel, throat. there's no getting out of here. First, the Ochrana will grill us, then it'll be out to the prison yard. Hey, get it. Look at me. Very nice. Vanda will spring us from here, we just have to give her time. Have you learned to whistle yet? And remember, we were at mass. We don't know anything, got it? Unlike him. And now you're going to tell me exactly what happened inside the church. Uh, so you save the kid? First, ask how wonders went to. Yeah, let's I see. did what I had to. The boy at the exorcism turned out to be a thaumaturge. And? I took away his gifts. Now he'll have a normal life. Normal? I don't think so. Not here. I got the urge to pray, and I could have been having a beer at Berg's. Jan Bialek! No. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Here! That's me! You've got to get him out of here, you understand? He's not even 16. Okay. Um... You have my word. Bialek! You're coming with me. Tell her not to miss me. And you, practice that whistling. Wall. Inscriptions appear to have been scratched out with fingernail. Willem proclaims, Welcome to Little Hill. Are you good? That sounds pleasant. The mattress is covered with dark stain. Blood. Resignation oozed from the wood. wound along with blood. Stain the material displaying flashes of life before glazed eyes and filling the mind with certainty. The certainty that death was near. You think he'll come back? Mm. I'm sure he's fine. Everything will be all right. No, it won't. They're going to kill us here. Where are you from? From here. I live with my grandfather in Praga. He fought in the January uprising. He raised me after my father died. I wanted to make him proud. And that's why I joined. Our faults. I was traveling a lot at your age. France, Belgium, Petersburg. That's all right for some. The carefree bourgeoisie. Yes, I was born into money. But money doesn't bring you happiness. The greatest lie that we tell poor people. Mm-hmm. 
Even so, believe me, my life wasn't as much of a fairy tale as you'd imagine. My best friend's father was in debt to a dishonest loan shark, and we wanted to help. I think we were younger than you. And what happened? We went to see him, with my father's gun. The one I carry with me. And what? It went off. The lone shark died on the spot. My father handed me some suitcases and a ticket and said never to come back. So, he sorted it out. Sounds like a good father. He was defending his reputation, so he got rid of me, and that was that. I didn't ask him for this. Shulski! Your turn. See you. How touching. Move your ass! He just killed him. Is this Gunechkin? Dushkanu. Glad I threw you. Under. That was disappointing. Did you know him? You deceived me, Chief. The book wasn't where you told me I'd find it. But I could have sworn. How extraordinary. Really? I can see you're still using it. I remember how it ended the story of a particular loan shark. Tell me a bloody anything snake of value. Oh. Then I'll be able to find a way to help you. I wouldn't want the dredgers to pull you out of the Vistal afterward. Like Setwana Petrovna. Great question, but where's my father's grimoire? I'll tell you if you tell me about the church. What were you doing there? I'm gonna ask tell you anything. I have to ask you something. Where is my father's grimoire? I see we're unable to come to an agreement. Yeah, apparently. All this is to get out my father's friends, isn't it? I'll ask one last time. No, we are done here. Leave us alone. What? No interrogation? Don't be silly. I don't need to introduce you two. Ready? I know everything that I could read from his objects. What are you expecting? Results. Find out what he did in the church and where his father's friends are. As you wish, sir. I really... Let's not drag this out. And maybe you know where my father's grimoire is. It's supposed to hurt. I know what I'm supposed to do. <sighs> Greetings from inside your head. I intend to make myself at home here. Did they ban summoning souls in Warsaw so you got a job here? Or did they finally work out that you're a charlatan? We're not thinking about me now. You won't trick me here, and you won't escape either. Save your energy. Think about the church and who you were there with. And an Hydra's Putin direct your thoughts to Zion. Think about Kirk. Mm, yeah, let's think about Kiro. A Batyushka who sees the devil everywhere is no surprise. 
Strange company for a thaumaturge. You're terrible at choosing friends. Think of the exclusion that affects you. I'm used to it. I trust no one anymore. Not least thanks to you. Let's onto the idea of compensation directed towards the Sophia's company. Mm. I don't remember who Sophia is. You've got nothing that would redeem your guilt. Samira, focus now. Think about escaping together. Focus on getting revenge and connection. Hmm. It's suicide. Konyechkin is a determined, vengeful bastard, and he has people everywhere. I'd sooner tear off your head like he wants than take a risk like that. Fix the attention on the battery. Bring up the Tsar secret in your memory. Ooh. What is this supposed to be? The Thaumaturge Mutual Aid Society. This sounds like a criminal gang. <laughs> Who else is in it? Uh, it reveals to an identity of the... No. Very old. Hmm. Who is that Ariel person? He's the most malicious thaumaturge west of the Vistula. You two will get along. Who else? Damn it, so I, I can't not answer her. Sheet. Falje, I haven't heard of this person before. That speaks well of him. Who else? Don't play games with me. All right. All right. What? Let's get out of here. That's what you want, after all. I'll help you, but you're taking me with you. Great stuff. Um. Yeah, I do want. I'm to not know. leaving here without my father's grimoire. I'm convinced Konyechkin has it. That's right. It's in his study. Two oh, floors really? up. Just don't dawdle. Go. I'll hold Konyechkin here. But not for long, so hurry. Okay, so we did it. We did a thing. She's turning on him now. Make it snappy. I can't hold him here long. Okie dokie. The mirror secret. Samira has been working for the authorities for a long time, but it's forced alliance with she is not happy. Oh. Morning Let's See what else is here. Nice secret. Can't go in there. Skelon's biography. I felt something. Where is it? Mm hmm. Stanislaw's force of Nadia, case of case. Relationship with the aristocrat, correspondence. Oh, it's just, that's, that's a folly, I don't know. I know it's his father's fault. Ganeshman knew everything about him. Thoughts hovering over the fowl arranged themselves in neat rows like well trained soldiers. One can feel the joy. The goal has been achieved. 
Another man put on a leech, bound by indestructible bonds of information. He will not slip away, he will obey, he will do as he was told. So he had his father. Maybe that's what caused the rift caused the rift between him and his friend. In case of death, balloon shock and yes, testimony. Legia. Surveillance was underway, and with it, a precise plan was taking shape. Because why not? She would gain independence and in vulnerability freedom. Everything she dreamt of. And as for him, he'd have someone to share his own with, someone to bring some warm and smile to an existing little life. Oh, really? I wonder if we can help anybody. I don't know. Archives. Konechkin collects information on all Thaumatan. He would like to see us do it, but he So he's, he's a bit power hungry, is he? There's the grimoire. Hey Ryan, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hope you're well. What do you think of this, father? Let's see. Shulsky, there's no time for reading. I can't read this. It's like describing colors to a blind man. I don't get it. Whatever you're mumbling, I don't care. We need to go. What happened? The guard peeked inside this cell and everything fell apart. Konyechkin was furious. It'll take him a little while before he regains his composure, so let's not waste time. I'll lead us out of the gate, but what then? My cellmates have confirmed their people are observing the Citadel. They'll pick us up. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, so you wanna get Yannick? Yeah, we do before get we leave, him. I'd like to grab one of my cellmates. What? Wait. Have you lost it completely? Nope. I promise. You'll get lost here. I'll go. You secure the passage to the gate for us. Just wait for me there. I'll be waiting. The cover's card attached to it reads at two special effects. A lump of fear constricts the throat. An irritation obscures reason. Marriage of convenience will only happen if it's Legia's only option. She cannot be given any support. The loved ones must be eliminated, especially her brother. Ruthless. Konechkin's interest in Legia is not purely professional. The chief wants to separate her from her relatives and proposes marriage of convenience. I don't like it, but perhaps I could take advantage. What? Do you wish? It's made of thin porcelain. There's an imprint of red lipstick on its rim. An afterthought has attached itself to the lipstick. It's full of panic and fear, like a bird whose head, so whose head someone is about to twist. This is the end of freedom and independence. You're trapped. The man sitting in front of you has you in his grasp. Will not let go. Alrighty. Cat in the can. Samir didn't volunteer to work with Konechkin. The chief forced her to cooperate with very much and very much enjoyed his control over the fate of the former church. I should take these documents with me. Yes, you should. This guy's the creep. I didn't like him from the beginning. Get out of you. In here. Nothing. Um, is we fighting?
Heels. Text me first I'm dead. Ah! So damn close. Bloody hell. So close. Mm. Let's start with this one. Thank you, Lewis. I'm I'm doing great. Thank you. How to read people's name when it's not in the normal way? Yeah. I know, like, Blood Dragoon's name that he changed, I can't read that at all. It literally looks like two L's and a Y. But my computer doesn't read the font that is used. No, no, no. You, what are you doing here? 
Uh, say you're exploring. <laughs> it's a long time since I was in Warsaw last. I wanted to explore a little. Show your pass, or you're under arrest. I wish you luck. And you? What are you grinning at? Grab the rest of those fuckers in the barracks. No, don't. Leave them in the barracks. Okay, these guys on. Reinforcements. I want to reinforce I honestly don't understand why it takes some, sometimes it takes two turns for my sacrifice to it. I think that frustrates me with the Salito fights. It's, it's like my fights don't count as much as the opponents. Which is really annoying. So, have you mastered whistling? Oh dear. That's how you do it. Yeah. I'm pretty much it's gonna finish Come on, the storyline. And then um, it's gonna be the end of this suit. Vanda, I'm so glad to see you. 
What about Miho? You didn't and make her? it. Thanks to me, the rest got out. Move. Unfortunately, he's still alive. Please come in. No one should be alone at a time like this. Emir, they killed Miha. He is not altogether lost, remember. I'm going to see Burke. The rest should know. Come on, Yannick. The famous Madame Samira has honored my humble abode. Thank you for taking us in. You must be exhausted. Please go ahead to your rooms upstairs. I'll join you in a moment. Are you coming? I'll be there in a moment. They look like they were removed from someone's body. The vessel contains the words of a Thanksgiving prayer. Its intention is to send grace to Dr. Emir Brunakovic, who helps everyone, even revolutionaries, even if they've been shot. He brings relief and asks no question. True angel. List of patients, cash wound, electrolytes, disease, patient charts. They've been anonymized. Concern from patients extends to beyond medical treatment. It appears that he also often refuses money for his help. Interesting. Emir's clinic is a doctor by calling who sincerely cares about his patients. He pays no attention to the social class or background. If he can relieve their suffering, he will. Not a common attitude. Should be. It really should be. That's what, that's what doctors are supposed to do. Home medicine chests. It's full of dried herbs as well as homemade ointments and concoctions. Serbic thoughts hang between bundles of herbs. When something works, it works. Who cares if it comes from folk remedies, or from medicine, or fancy land? Halfwits could also benefit from reading the Epicena and including hygiene and exercise in their treatment. Very butchered then, but anyway. The Gazette, scientific brochure. Oh, Please make yourselves at home. The tea is brewing and it will do us all good. Madame must be the thaumaturge Victor told me about. I also heard a lot about the rebel doctor when I was in the Citadel. For the time being, I'll assume we all have good intentions. As for me, you have nothing to worry about, so... I trust her. That's Should enough for out. me. Let's not waste time. Do not mistake this somber moment for one of peace. This isn't the calm before the storm. We're in the eye of the storm. Time is scarce, the risk is great, and the consequences will be irreversible. I trust you've got the Black Grimoire already? Yes. I got my father's Grimoire back. It was where we both expected it to be. Have you studied it yet? I've browsed through it. My father somehow managed to conceal the meaning behind written words. 
I can feel that it's there, but it keeps slipping away. I think the combination of our powers might solve your problem. Can you tell me what we're talking about exactly? Before he died, Stanisław Szulski created a hypothesis upon which he tried to use the full potential of Thaumaturge's mental bond. You mean peeking inside each other's heads? It is not arcane knowledge. Shulsky believed that connected thaumaturges could share their powers. Do you want to find out if it works? I'm not sure yet. Let's not waste any more time. What else do we need to form such a pact? First of all, a fourth member. The other one you mentioned. Who is that? The only one that comes to mind is Ariel Rofa. He crossed my mind, too. Do you think he could be useful with the reputation he has? He hasn't shown up at the Rujits much lately. I'll bring him here. At least I'll try. There's also the question of that Rasputin. With him, I can acquire and control more Salutus. Without his help, it would no longer be possible. I believe that our pact will give us much greater power. We'll be able to easily compensate for the lack of your friend. How do you think I should resolve this situation? It would be most imprudent to let such suspicious people inside your mind for too long. Any carelessness may cost all of us dearly. If you're still bound to him somehow, I'm afraid you'll have to end it. Yes. Tell him it's not him, it's you, and so on. Remember, this is no longer a question of only your noggin. Madame, the tea is ready. I have to go down now. Good luck, Victor. Oh wow, we really end like three now. Okay, so it, it seems we we still have um no game to play. I don't know, I'll I'll do another episode tomorrow. If it's a short episode then so be it. But uh I am gonna end it here. Got some other stuff I need to go do. My phone's been going crazy. So yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I will probably do the I actually thought we were at the end. It looks like there's a little bit more. So we'll do that tomorrow. Maybe um we'll try we'll try get those two salutos again. Don't know if we will be able to. We'll see. But yeah, have a wonderful afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are. And I'll probably be back in about what, seven an hour with the next stream. Hopefully I see you then. Cheers. Bye.